Well, hi everyone, welcome back. I've just got in for a walk, so I thought today I might talk to you while we do the all important job of washing our hands. I've learned a lot about how to wash my hands properly in this COVID season. I watched lots of the play school videos early on in lockdown last year about singing happy birthday twice and all kinds of tricks of the trade to wash our hands well when we get in the door. I've ended up spending a lot of time washing my hands these days and I've had lots of time to think about how we wash our hands, what it means to make something go from unclean to clean and what we need to make that happen. It's an interesting thing, isn't it? Often we need something else to come and help the dirty thing become clean, whether it's soap on my hands, detergent on the dishes, or suds in the washing machine for our clothes, whatever it is, often we need something else to come and help make us clean, don't we? Well, it was pretty similar in the Old Testament, actually, for people's hearts. God knew there was a problem of sin and people were unclean. They weren't perfect. That's what we call sin, that imperfection. And because they weren't clean, God gave them a system to make them clean. And they would come to the temple and with animals to sacrifice, they would be made clean by the spilling of blood of an animal. But that system was not perfect in and of itself, was it? It was kind of like us washing our hands. Every time we go out, we have to come back and do it again, don't we? Each time we walk in the house, we have to wash our hands again. Each time we go to the bathroom, we have to wash our hands again. And it was similar to the Old Testament. The Israelites weren't made perfect just by one sacrifice. They had to keep going back and going back and going back. That was until the ultimate sacrifice was made. That's when Jesus arrived. He came as God's son to be the one and only sacrifice to make us all clean, to be the thing that would make us clean forever. He's kind of like the ultimate hand sanitizer, not just for our hands, but for our hearts. Let me read you something that I have found really encouraging as I've thought through this. It's in the book of 1 Corinthians in chapter 6. The CEV version is what I'm reading today. The name of our Lord Jesus Christ and the power of God's Spirit have washed you and made you holy and acceptable to God. You see, Jesus' sacrifice on the cross was even more powerful than washing our hands or even more powerful than the animals who were brought to the temple. He died for all sins. Everyone was made clean. Anyone who wants to come to him, to say sorry and to turn to him, they're made clean. Clean not just for a day or until we leave the house again, but forever and ever and ever. Now we're holy and we're acceptable to God and we can be his children and his friend. Isn't that such good news in this day in lockdown? I hope it encourages you today. Why don't you, as you wash your hands at some point today, have a think of what God has washed off for you and what living now made clean might look like today in lockdown. See you tomorrow.